Hello, welcome back to another guys' channel. I'm Jacob from Jacob's Books Corner, and today we're gonna to be talking about my writing plans for basically the rest of the year. Is the plan? I just kind of want to put it in front. I think the last one I did, I'll link it up in my cards. And there's gonna be some more stories to that one, um, but this is a good way to come in and do a clean check-in of either plans for publishing later on or whatever it might be to have a much more like great idea of what we're doing here right because as you guys are going to notice over the next course few months we're going to be doing month-long writing vlogs i'm just being shit at mine right now but to be fair there's other reasons why which i do explain in that vlog why we're just now really getting to start to update that vlog but they're going to have month-long writing vlogs over the course of the next few projects that i plan on working on and i just figured we should probably have a sit down conversation about what those projects could be in case I just need to revert you guys back to like oh I'm talking about this project and I will mention vaguely what it's about if you want more information check out this video i.e the video we're talking about today let's talk about the projects that I am going to be working on for the course of the next few months so the rest of 2022 when I walked into 2022 this year I was I had one thing in mind and only one thing and that was the simple fact that this year was going to be no second drafts. Basically what that means is that I had only plans to write first drafts to be as creative as humanly possible as my creative side has slowly died. This goes back to like a lot of different th things. One of those things just being I haven't really finished a draft since Broken Boys and that was in the earlies of 2020 in 2021 like early early 2021 and i had started multiple projects since then so far this year if this whole first draft being this year i have finished two projects and but i've started multiple projects as well tomorrow yeah we don't need to do a recap of the projects I, I like i finished but either way that's basically the plan and that's part of the reason why um this year has been so complicated because i do have books I have a series of books that are going to be coming out in 2024. I have a series of books coming out underneath my name in 2024 that do require beta readers and shit like that. So it, it is a bit of a complicated situation. Essentially what's happening is we have the Rolling series, which I've talked about before. It's a supernatural series, a paranormal romance that takes place in a world where the supernatural have won. I personally done a lot of different things to make it seems as where organic as possible and I've done a lot of like background world building. I've changed a lot of stories up and made the creatures my own. And this is book one um, or volume one of like a lot. And I think I have planned out 12. <laughs> and obviously, you know, when you're putting out a series like this, originally it was a trilogy um, of books. And then I was like, you know, it really would fit this because of tonal differences between them at least as I'm writing them, are so different. I was like, maybe more like a serial version of this and I can get out more that way as well. The plan is to shoot for like three a year or something or those lines. I've talked about my ideas for the rolling before and they, they didn't change. Um, I just, you know, didn't really work on them. I did end up finishing the first volume earlier this year in June, which means we just have volume two and three to write before December 31st because they are going to be the books that we're mostly focused on in 2023 getting them polished and ready to go for 2024 so that's that so we'll be working on volume two and volume three as it goes the further we get into a series the less the more they are happy about it because i don't want to give any spoilers or anything like that but the first three volumes are technically one whole book and i'll have things when they start to come out what that will be. the next thing i want to talk about is Tommy's book. I've mentioned Tommy books a little bit. There was a timeline video that went out where that's gonna be coming out to you guys relatively soon talking about Tommy's book. I had a whole video talking about this brand new series that Tommy's book was a part of. I just don't know where we're at with it to be honest with you. I did outline the book. It's there, it's ready for me to go. I just, every time I sit down to write it, I'm just not feeling it. And it makes me really sad inside because I think I really do love this story and I really do love these characters. And I think I will go back to it. I think I overestimated myself. Um, plus, Tommy's book has always been like a it's gonna get out eventually type of moment. Tommy's book is another one of those book series where I'm like, this would be a great self-published experiment, I think. You know, I do want to be a hybrid author, which I'm gonna have a whole video talking about 
why I want to be a hybrid author and why I think certain projects will do better in certain areas when there's other books that are very similar to these projects doing well in traditionally slash self-published areas. Either way, Tommy's book could pop up in one of these vlogs. I think you have much more higher chance of popping up in September's vlog than any other vlogs throughout the months just because the ruling will take our forefront and that's 40 fresh thousand words per book or 30 to 40 thousand words per book that we have to write. We also have my little sister's first book being done and completed. I don't know when I want this to get done, I just know that it needs to get done this year. It's the only one that I'm planning on doing multiple drafts for, but technically it's like a short story, it's like 5,000 words long. And then I wouldn't mind outlining the rest of her series as well to maybe start to write the second book. Then, as you guys are going to see in the September vlog, I have this very strong desire to write a post-apocalyptic story. Fun fact, I started one in NaNoWriMo of a few years ago. So I've been working on that, which has been a great time and I'm very excited to continue. I have so many ideas and it's just been really fun to stay in this world. And so for the time being, this is where we're going to stop, is with this zombie project. This is one of the only ones that I've written so far, I'm like, maybe you're a traditionally published book, which was nice. It was a good feeling. To be fair, I am, this is more like a passion project, this isn't really like a, a project I ever had plans to publish or whatever. My sister wanted to read it, my dad wants to read it, and I was like, cool, you guys can read it, not a big deal. But that was like the extent of this project most of my projects start out that way and then we built the ruling was always an idea of like i want my own paranormal romance series that i can like i wrote that and i can recommend it to people but it doesn't happen very often and this is one of those ones where it wasn't where it very much was more like i want to write this project i want to be really derivative of all, all the favorite things i love in these stories and the ideas behind them and some of the actions and some of the characters are going to be very similar to characters that I personally love in these stories that give me so much like hope and love and that's still where we're at with it and so I, I would say by draft three it's going to be more in its own ball game of like ooh. And the thing that I think I think it could do really well is for the simple fact that the way the virus works is very interesting it's very different I've never read anything like it before in at least in the books I've read or the TV shows I've watched. I've watched a lot of books. I've watched a lot of TV shows dealing with post apocalyptic worlds with viruses and stuff. But it is very adult. It has a lot of sensitivity stuff, especially throughout the entire thing. It's very much in your face about it. So it's going to take a lot. It's going to go through multiple drafts before it can even be thought about being queried or anything like that. This might be that project that we're going to talk about later on in life being like, guys, I started it here. Technically, I started last November, but I'm making progress here. But yeah, that's this video. It, let me know what you guys are working on, on the projects and stuff. Basically, the big ones, like I said. I'm going to be working on this, this zombie book, or post-apocalyptic book. And we're going to be working on The Ruling, which technically is also another post-apocalyptic book. But it's a different type of vibe. There are zombies in that series. Duh. And um, that's basically the big ones that we're going to be working on because I really need to finish those books and I really need to, I really just want to write this one. So let me know what you guys want to write. All right, I'll talk to you guys all soon. Thank you for watching.